What's up, people? I'm going live. I want to ask all of you guys out there. Oh, look, your phone goes off when I go live. What time did you get off of work today? And then when you got off of work, what did you do when you got home from work? So I left the office tonight at roughly 9.30 at night, Eastern Standard Time. And then I got home. I had to eat something very, very quickly. <laughs> what up, George? And then I look on the counter and realize that Peter needs to have a Valentine's Day box, not by Valentine's Day, but by tomorrow. Or they're gonna give him a brown paper bag to put all his cute little candies and cards in. So, me being the awesome mom that I am, tired as shit right now, I have become creative and have made a box. I have made a box while my child is sleeping and my husband is attempting to sleep next to me. But anyways, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, who the hell would wanna have all their stuff in a white bag, right? I mean, that's super ghetto. Wouldn't you feel bad as a mom if you were letting your kid go run around in a white bag? I mean, everybody has a box at school for the cards, right? So my box will be slightly ghetto considering that I am not quite in the mood to draw anything fun. But I went online and I just printed out a bunch of pictures of a bunch of hearts. And I'll put the box together, put his name on it, color it up with some Crayola. How cool. Let's revisit kindergarten again and draw Peter with a marker. So anyways, I don't want to hear that any of you guys had a long day because I have zero empathy for all of you. Every single one of you. Um, so anyways, I figured I'd share exactly what I was doing right now because it's interesting that when I get done with this, I still have work to do. How does this happen? I don't have a freaking clue how I end up doing this at 11.21 at night and realize how late it was. I don't even know why half you guys are up right now. But anyways, I am making this little box. It's a Kenneth Cole box that John was ever so kind enough to cut this little hole out for me here. Um, but at least Peter will have a box, right? Isn't that fun that he'll have a box? You know, I also have to, uh, I have got to say this just so I can rant about something because obviously every day I have something to rant about is that, so I go in the email this morning to check my emails and there was this guy, I won't say who the name is, but there was this guy and apparently he writes in the email that he asked in the email, he's like, did you guys really block me off of Facebook because I don't think you guys did a good job on this, this, and that? Or so he wrote something. Basically, he must have wrote something negative on one of the posts or something. So obviously he got blocked because why would we keep him on there? That doesn't even make any sense. But like to have that much time to go out of your way to go and like actually write an email to my email, like the business email after that. You know, if I had that much time on my hands, I would be a millionaire. I would be balling, but I don't. So I was just like, I guess I was a little appalled at why this guy like went out of his way to write this email. So anyways, I thought that was a little ridiculous. Today has been a really, really, really long day. It's been one of those weird like full moon days where I felt like everything and anything was going wrong and everything was irritating me. Um, good news is, is that I did get another workout in today, which I'm super excited about since I don't work out. Um, and you know, hopefully I'll have my beach body on and I'll be able to, you know, wear my two piece comfortably at the pool this upcoming summer. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to share exactly what I was doing because I feel like I might be the only person making a Valentine's Day box for their child right now at 11.15 at night, 11.24 at night, after working a 15 hour day, okay? What's up, doctor? Um, but I'm okay with that, I don't mind working long hours. I'm not sure that I'm the best creator at making 
a Valentine's Day box, per se. But, you know, it's better than a brown paper bag, right? Right? You guys will agree with that, right? It's better than a brown paper bag. I mean, who wants to put their candies in a brown paper bag? How is Peter going to score a Valentine in a brown paper bag? He's not. You see? <laughs> I can make it. I want to make, yeah. You know what, Jay? I'm going to make you another. I'm going to make you one out of a Jordan box. And you have to come to my office and bring me everything but chocolate for Valentine's Day. Just so you guys know. Hi, Tunisia. Um, I hate chocolate. I don't. I think I might be the only woman on the planet that actually hates chocolate. Like, I can't even stand the smell of chocolate. It's repulsive. It makes me want to throw up. It's disgusting. I don't know how any of you guys eat chocolate. It's absolutely disgusting. Repulsive. Yep. John bakes his own chocolate chip cookies. I'll make him chocolate co chip cookies if he really wants them to. But... Touching chocolate, I think I might die. Obviously, I'm overreacting. But no, seriously, I hate chocolate. Even when he eats chocolate, I can smell it on his breath, and it's like, I can't even walk into the Godiva store. Just put it like that. I mean, I walk into the Godiva store when I need to go get something for John, but I have to like hold my breath, and like, I'm literally throwing up in my mouth. It's disgusting. Again, I don't know how you people eat chocolate. It's absolutely repulsive. So anyways. Like I said, it's been a really, really, really long day. I don't know why it's been ever so long, but it's just been a long ass day. Um, I just was sitting here thinking, I'm like, you know, I haven't done my little soapbox thing. I might as well just do it while I'm up, right? But I mean, damn, I think I've come a long way with this little box here, okay? I'm gonna bust out the colored crayons and make sure I make it cute and pretty and put a little bow on it that says love mom in the morning, okay? Cause I'm a good mom. I don't know how most of you guys out there, you guys see you know, me post about going places and doing other fun stuff. Eh, you know what? I've found a happy balance in my life. I have managed to find a balance in my life where I can actually have a family, be an entrepreneur, go to work, work 15 hours a day, and still be able to balance a happy, happy life. Um, and still go out to the club and have a good old time and have a couple drinks, you know? It's always fun. Um, anyways, so I just figured I'd say hi to all you guys. I I don't know how I have all this energy. It must be my ECAs. Um, I started taking a second ECA at the uh, in the afternoon, so that's probably why I have all this extra energy at night. Um, but I'm probably going to be exhausted tomorrow and I have to get up early tomorrow to make sure I go to the office and everything's running super, super, super smooth because next week's a big week for me and John. Um, anyways, I wanted to say hello to everybody, share exactly what I was doing at 1130 at night since it's so much fun making a Valentine's Day box for your nine-year-old since you totally forgot he needed a box for his cards. I don't know why they can't just bring it in on Valentine's Day, the day that they're going to exchange cards. No, they need to have it on their desk, waiting, ready, ready to go on the desk. Okay? So, I would be a bad mom if I let Peter run around with a brown paper bag full of candy. That would be really, really mean. So, let's all make sure that Peter does really, really good too, because he's got this girl next door. I'm sure that, you know, the mom will see it. I think he has a crush on her, so he better not be pulling any funny stuff. He's only nine years old, and he's not allowed to date until he's 19. So anyways, guys, I'm going to sign off because I need to finish making this box, and it's probably going to take me another freaking hour to do. And I will talk to you guys soon. Keep it short and sweet. Send him my love. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys if I don't get to say hi. And wish me a good night's rest. And wish that this box does not turn out to look super, super ghetto. <laughs> we'll see. I'll take a final picture and post it for you.